Hey, Mike. Uh, I'm guessing that's the first time you've been part of a game postponement before. What was it like, and how did you guys spend the last couple of days? Uh, yeah, that was uh, my first time, really. But uh, it was it was different. I mean, going into it a couple of days before, we knew there was a excuse me. There was we knew there was a chance we weren't going to play. But um, I mean, it, it happened. Uh, but we just been practicing, going hard, and trying to prepare for Texas. Did you take anything away from the um, the game you played against Oklahoma State with a limited roster that you can apply to this game and maybe help you beat Texas? Yeah, a lot. Um, against Oklahoma State, we regardless of how many people we had, we didn't really play well, and um, we watched the whole team or we watched the whole game as a team, and um, we're able to learn from it, learn a lot of, about what we need to do better on offense and defense, and. Uh, there was a lot of takeaways from it. And um, I also want to ask this: you, you, in your first two seasons here at Kansas State, experienced some really high, uh, some really high highs. Um, Big 12 championship, Elite Eight. The last two years have been kind of the opposite. What's that like been for you um, to to adjust to those kind of uh, different, different, different things? It's uh, it's different. It's it's difficult, um, you know, because the goal is always winning. And um, the first two years here, there was a lot of winning. But uh, the the last year, obviously, we went, uh, we didn't do it that that well. But this year, it's just been a uh, not a rough start, but a, a a little roadblocks from the start. And um, we're just trying to learn from it. We got a young team, but uh, we got we got everything we need to be good. Every uh, every piece we need, and um. As guys start getting back and as we continue to practice uh, day in, day out, and uh, go through this next stretch of games, we're just looking to improve. And one, one more from me. Um, Coach has mentioned a, a couple times now that he thinks the, the frozen eligibility rule could really help you out because, you know, you planned a red shirt as a freshman, didn't happen, and now if, I guess if you want that year back, you can have it. Um, I'm sure you don't have a decision made, but it, is that at least enticing that after this year you can have that? You can have one more go around if you want it. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, to have that option, that's a, a cool thing. Cause, uh, but right now, I really just try to focus on this current season and um, game in, game out, trying to trying to be the best I can be and we can be this year and each game. And right now, like my mind is really just trying to set on doing what we can to beat Texas uh, this. Uh, uh, this weekend, so that's where my mind is. I got you. Understandable. Hey, thanks a lot, Mike. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Other questions for Mike? Uh, next question to Grant Flanders. Hey, Mike. Um, I just want to ask about your teammates, the ones that have dealt with the COVID and stuff like that. What has been their mental state, if you've ever been able to, you know, FaceTime with them or whatnot? Um, what's it like for them having to be holed up in their rooms by themselves? I mean, it's uh, it's not fun. And those those people, I, I just know that they're, they're – mentally, they're just – they just want to be back out on the court as uh, – as I could definitely understand that go, having to go weeks without playing uh, while the season's going on, missing games. I mean, it's just, it's, it's something that you don't want to happen. Don't want to have happen to yourself, but uh, yeah, I just know it's tough, but uh, I think our guys have been able to like stay, stay into it, stay into it and be ready when they've when they're uh, back. And then you played 40 minutes. I mean, just what was that like? You know, first time you've been, been able to do that in your career. Um, how hard was that? Uh, it was, it was, uh, it, to me, it, it's fun, you know, because, yeah. like, I know what, like, you know, everybody wants to play the whole game. But uh, it's not, it's not, anybody could stay on the court for 40 minutes, but uh, it's doing things the right way for 40 minutes. And, um, Looking back at the game, uh, there's definitely a lot of areas I could have improved on in that 40 minutes. And uh, 
so yeah, it, it's fun to play 40 minutes, but still got it. If 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 I'm gonna play 40 minutes, I, I gotta be better. And then you said you guys watched the game as a team to you know look back at what you guys need to do better and whatnot. Do you have any specifics of of what you guys need to do better and um, how to how to handle it without so many guys on the floor with only six or seven guys? Yeah, I mean, uh, just play, playing together and. Um, Against Oklahoma State, like just little things were off on offense, like spacing and whatnot, and uh, those little things could really could really make a huge difference. And uh, just moving the ball, getting the best shot possible, and then just like little tough things, boxing out stuff that we let might have let fatigue get the best of us in certain situations, and um, stuff we we, we got to improve on. Appreciate it, Mike. Stay safe. Thank you. Okay. Other questions for Mike? Uh, next question to John Kurtz. Yeah, Mike, uh, I mean, how tough is it to, to just maintain a positive mindset and keep your mind in the right place when you're thinking about going and playing a, a top 10 team as shorthanded as, as you guys are about to be? Uh, it's not as hard as you think because uh, we're, we're, we're blessed. We're blessed to be in this situation. We're blessed to have played as many games as we've played. And uh, right now, just staying positive, loving the game, and trying to get better game in, game out. That's what's driving us. And, um, I mean, we could we could drop our heads and, and complain about this, this, and that, but there's no need to when we got so much, so much good going for us in life in general. So we just got to stay positive and enjoy every game and – Fight every game to win. Appreciate it, Mike. Thanks, man. Thank you. Uh, other questions for Mike before we let him go? Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette. Hey, Mike, I thought of one more. Um, given your role on this team as the lone senior, how serious have you taken that? And how is you, do you feel that your leadership role has expanded as the year's gone on? Um, it's, uh, it's like, it's something that I never um, like imagined, <clears throat> you know, like just to be, be the only senior, but, uh, it is what it is. I've been here the longest and, um, I just, we, we got like a great team and they're, they're like great people too. So, I just do what I can to to influence like influence them in the most positive ways possible. Just trying to show them how to work hard, how to how to do this, this, and that on defense. Little things that like in high school or wherever they were before that they they didn't really like know and realize. And um, a lot of it uh, they got they got to figure stuff out for themselves. But uh, I all I can do is try to help them and. Um, that's all I've been trying to do this whole time. And uh, it's fun. It's fun to watch, like, people closest to me improve as time goes on. And uh, that's that's my job as a leader, to help, just to try to help them improve. Have any of the young guys asked you any questions that really caught you off guard, something you weren't expecting them to be curious about? Nah. I mean, some of them just, just ask a lot of questions, <laughs> you know. So, <laughs> I mean, it – no, I'm not surprised by any question at this point. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, thanks, Mike. Thank you. Our next question to Jackson Snyder. Hey, Mike, I know this season's probably been one of the most stressful that you've ever had to deal with just because of the outside factors and everything. But how do you and your teammates relax and deal with all of that stress from everything? going on surrounding this season um we just we just come together and um when we're around each other we just we we enjoy being around each other and uh that helps a lot of things when you just enjoy being around the people you're closest to <clears throat> so uh on the road when just like little things like on the road after a scout meeting just staying around hanging out just just having fun, having fun with each other. And um, that's what it's about. And uh, as long as we continue to just have fun, we're gonna we're gonna improve on the court. We're gonna we're gonna win some games and uh, but yeah, it's really just about having fun.
enjoying the experience because we because we play more games than many teams, and uh, we're blessed for that. And and with some of your teammates kind of being secluded right now, dealing with contact tracing and, and COVID and everything, how how have you noticed them dealing with all of that? Like, do, do they maybe feel a little stir crazy? Do you talk to them like texting or check up on them? How how's all that going for them? Yeah, I mean, I know it's it's been tough for some of them, and uh, you could check up on them, and but that 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 helps them, I think. But I just know that they they the people that have went through it just want to be on the court. But uh, at the end of the day, there's once it's happened, there's nothing you can do about it, and um, just try to keep them positive, stay positive always.